In this lecture, we are going to look at ChemDraw for Excel. So ChemDraw Professional also gives us the ability to assess the structures that we draw or the chemical formulas that we draw in Excel. So to do that, let's go to let's head over to Excel. So you even see ChemDraw Excel has been plugged in when you install the software. So you can just come in. This brings you up to your Excel. Now in Excel, when you install ChemDraw, you don't have to do anything, but it will add a plugin to Excel. So you have one tab on the menu bar that says Chem Office and then the version. So mine is 20. You can also come to File and go to Options. And from Options, you can see Add-ins and you can manage your add-ins over here so you can manage all your add-ins if you don't have it you can still come in here and manage it so yeah okay so once you come into excel you can come to the cam office tab and it brings up the worksheet so in this approach cam draw gives us the ability maybe you are making a report and you want maybe structure of your of your formula so let's say let's call the site structure and then maybe here let's call b so column b let's call it formula and we can We can call the side molecular weight and and so on and so on so maybe whatever feature whatever reports that you're doing you can come in here and design it so the best way to do that is let's say you want to add a structure to the side so you can always come to let's let's just go back to this one Okay, and let's come over here and go to add. So when you click add, it says chem draw for Excel. Do you want to add a new molecule to the cell? Then you click yes. So when you click it, it launches a new document or a new window in chem draw. Let me drag it to this place. So it launches this one. So you can come in and draw the usual then okay left behind this so it will bring up this with these add-ins as well so when you draw let's say the structure which is cyclooctane okay you have this adding tab that comes along with it so let's say when you select this this becomes activated and you can you can have the chemical safety summary of the chemical so when you select this one it brings about this so it gives you a chemical safety about the chemical so it tells you the hazards as well so let's draw benzene too so if you have benzene and you select you can also find that as well tells you it's flammable and it tells you it may cause skin irritation and stuff as well so that is also something great to note and you can always use that and it can also tell you you can search about it so it can give you a google so it brings about this one which gives you um a google scholar search or a google pattern search so this will open up the web browser and search that for you you can also have the ski finder which is also kind of same where you can search about the substance the reactions references suppliers and you also open up the browser and search that for you and 
yeah so that is one tool that you should note so let's delete one of it let's delete this one and keep benzene now so your excel is still activated right so excel is communicating with chem office and whatever structure that you draw is going to go into that cell so now that we've drawn a structure we can close out and it appears in that cell and we can rename this now as let's say structure so you can come in and just edit it as you need as well so you can add many things as you need so once you have this you can also come to the structure you can show hide resize reset and also you can import or export the table so let's say if you want to export this you can export it anywhere or if you want to import something here as well you can do that and you can also come to the molecule you can edit so when you click edit it will bring you back to it will bring you back to cam draw great and whatever changes that you make when you close it so let's make a change let's say we okay let's just add a chain to it and close so there you go it, it just updates for you you can also load or save cut copy and all so you can play along with this now let's try one more you can head over to molecule and let's head to add so do you want to add a new one let's go to yes and this time around this time around let's open our old one and go to file and go to samples and open this one okay now let's try and just copy this one so let's copy we want to copy just this one okay and then now we want to come back to the new one that it opened for us from excel and then paste so when we close this one it should appear here and this gives us the structure as well so that is something very cool and useful to have and whatever that you are designing in excel you can always have this come in right away from cam office so you can come in and play around with these you also have this tab which is reaction tab so you can maybe start a new reaction and you can play along with it as well so it opens a new tab for you and play along with it so that is something to note and you can do this using cam draw professional